The liner has been prepared, the resin has been mixed, and so now it is time to start the wet-out process. What we need for a successful wet-out process is a vacuum pump, the liner itself with the end cap and the sealed end ready to accept the vacuum attachment. In this case we glued an end cap on the Drain Plus Liner 2.0 and we have an extension to the liner where we attach and apply the vacuum. Also, to close the end of the liner, we need a special tape. Once the liner has been filled with the resin, we will move to the wet out table where we can calibrate the resin and the liner to ensure that the correct amount of resin has been impregnated into the liner. Attach the vacuum hose to the end of the liner and switch on the vacuum pump. For the Drain Plus Liner 2.0, a vacuum of approximately minus 0.4 bar should be reached. At this point it should now become difficult to move the layers but not completely impossible. This indicates the correct amount of vacuum inside the liner. This is the sign that the correct vacuum has been reached inside the liner. We are now ready to put the resin inside the liner. For this process you need two operators and must wear personal protection equipment of gloves and goggles. Once the resin has been completely poured into the liner, it is time to move to the wet out table to distribute the resin. Adjust the gap on the pinch roller to the calculated gap. In this case, this is 11 millimeters. To set the gap, we have a measurement tool. 11 millimeters is used because the thickness of the liner is 4.5 millimeters. Multiplied by two gives us nine millimeters and then a further 2 millimeters is added. A total of 11 millimeters for the gap gives us the correct amount of resin inside the liner. During the entire wet out process it's very important to maintain the vacuum on the end of the liner and select the correct speed for the conveyor belt. As the resin reaches the end of the liner and the marking on the liner it is important to remove the vacuum hose to prevent resin being drawn into the hose and pump. At this point the wet out process is complete and the final preparation of the liner for installation will be shown in a separate video.